learn that he's a regular churchgoer and that religious faith is a driving force in his life. I go to the chapel on a Sunday and uh, I say my prayers. Uh, and that's, that's up to me. Uh, end of the day, each to their own, know what I mean? If I want to go to the chapel on a Sunday, I'll go to the chapel on a Sunday, you know? Does it give you focus? Definitely, definitely. Gives you more confidence as well, once you get into the fight. I, I believe in it. Although he keeps it very much to himself, I can see a very different Scott Harrison to the fighting machine I'd seen in the ring. You're definitely fitter than you've been for a while now, right. aren't you? You've had a long, hard road, and he's yeah. learned a lot about himself and about other people and what to do with that. Well, the, the, the church has always been willing to welcome back someone who's made a fool of himself, who's going to repent and come back. And I think this yeah. is it. You've always been faithful to the church. Yeah. Yeah. I just hope that Joe will have done some damage. Oh, it's a nice That's too. a good shot. Health its legs stiffened a bit with that oh. one, and he's gone with the second one. Two left hooks, the damage done. He's got up well, Elfin, but the quality in the work of Harrison. He... In the round with a lovely uppercut. There it is, there. You know, in the second round. Harrison did ship a couple, but that was that quality elusive, and then hit him with counters. He's caught by a left hook as he tried to deliver. Just for a moment, Elfid was getting into dangerous territory once more, but he's regained his composure now. Elfid's trying to, to throw with Harrison, which on, on, on one side of the coin is clever, on the other side, it, 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 it's like suicide, you know, but he's having a bit of success. He's just shipping the odd one or two when he throws them with Harrison, but he's landing, that's the only time he's landing when he's throwing with Harrison. And one thing about Scott Harrison always was that he had a granite chin. He yeah. really could take a shot. Cast iron. Best performance of his career, maybe when he beat Wayne McCulloch. Yeah, great performance. Great performance. You know, all, all these, it's, it's all very nostalgic talking about this for me. You know, I remember them, but it was a long time ago, wasn't it? And that's, that's what Scott Addison will know more than anyone. He needs them glory days back, and I'm sure he, the fire's still burning in him. Well, he needs the cash, but he needs, I think he needs more. He surely is ahead on points but Alfred might be clawing his way back and still two rounds to go it's nice from Harrison down to the body I think that's going to be the key for for Harrison to keep keep targeting the body and make over times and win Alfred still trying to stay up on his toes trying to remain mobile You can see why the crowd will be jeering and will get a little bit frustrated with this type of fight, can't you, Jumbo? They've got to be a bit knowledgeable, you know, they've, they've got to understand that Addison needs to get back into things. And the big one. A bit of a disturbance in the crowd, people turning around. Wind doesn't want to come and really rip the title That's from nice. you. Rip everything that you've got from you, you know, it, it must be a strange experience for them. Elfid showing that he's ready to trade as we come towards the final 30 seconds of the contest. Chopping right hand for good hand speed. Just those little reminders again, just to let him know that he's there. Six rounds over, and Scott Harrison knows that he's been given a test tonight. Credit to Joe. Winner in the blue corner from Bells Hill in Scotland, Scott Harrison. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Again, you don't take the tactic in the same part there. He twirls his opponent around so that he has an advantage. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, 
Getting the best of the argument and a right hand is hurt, Medina! He couldn't get him early here! Medina was shaken up and it's caught by Morshaw! This is for life gift from Harrison who sends this the moment here! This breakthrough and Medina goes down under the barrage of punches! And he will have to take it down, he's saying he was pulled down! The encouragement, he needed! He's a good right hand, he's still under pressure, he's still hurt Medina! Oh, and he's collided with the referee right at the end of the round when he was in a bad way. The sort of great. And he looks busted up now, the Mexican. And oh, and the right puts it down again for the second time in the round and the third time in the fight. He saw the break been long enough for the Mexican. No, another right hand. Down he goes for the fourth time in the fight. And his corner is going to pull him out. They have done. It's over. Revenge is so sweet. The Scott Harrison, he's back in the world, featherweight equation, and he's made history, the first shot ever to regain a world championship. A little bit here for that time when he was a very good European champion. Another shot right now, Brody Scott there, did a silly dance. Oh. And tonight, Ricky Bones has started to sell out the greyhead. Harrison has his man down again in the fourth, and there's still a long, long way to go. Victor Lockland's waved it off, and Scott Harrison, after six and a half years out of the ring, makes a stunning return to action as well as to form. Left hook again, just on the top of the head, partially blocked, but the uppercut got squeak in underneath the guard. It's a good left hook to the body, but Robinson showed no ill effect. Another one whips in. Harrison is doing a job on Robinson at this point. I did not expect that. I expected Robinson maybe going to an early lead, but that hasn't happened. He's going to be caught so cleanly from Harrison. It's all Harrison here. And Robinson offering little in terms of resistance. He's going to have to throw something back. He's tumbled to the floor with a right hand. And referee Richie Davis getting in the way. And he's going to count that as a knockdown in round three. thinking Adam, the referee's having a good look here. Robinson must grab hold and he must place back. His, le his legs have gone, Jim. His balance is all over the place. And Harrison here about to take Robinson out. This is what he must do. Grab hold, try to get his head clear. It's not going to happen. It's not going to be his night. All signs are against him. But he started doing things wrong. The ultimate throw is doing things wrong. It's all over. Hopefully we're talking about four 15 stone men jumping on your chin. Quite a lot of force and that's left hand and that's him not really trying very hard.